Guys, we got a situation. It seems like Cyberpunk 2077 is done for. Over. Cooked. Nobody is working on this game anymore. And that's actually understandable. The game is kind of in a good position right now, no doubt. But don't you think it would be better if we also get a powerful modding tool like The Witcher 3 just did though? Alright, enough ranting. It's time for me to talk mods to you guys again, and this time I got a handful of underrated mods, most of which has less than a thousand downloads. Stop the cap. I honestly can't tell if these mods are underrated or the game is just fucking dead. Anywho, the first mod we're gonna take a look at is Open Night City. And this mod has more than a thousand downloads. What a lying piece of shit I am. <laughs> but next mod for sure. While this game is a massive open world RPG that allows you to go through random buildings and shit, there are still a certain places that lock us out. Some of them actually have a good reason, such as a forbidden unfinished area that will send you straight to hell if you step foot on, but some of them just make no goddamn sense, like you could tell from the No Math Pad Pro lock. Apparently, people have found a way to climb their ass out of Night City, but why even go through all that bullshit when you can just install this mod and hit the fucking gas like your life depends on it? Well, there's nothing much to see in Yucca Town except cheap nostalgia and one single dude in the whole town vibing over his meat. Shit, that came out a bit such. But you know what I mean. A place like Red Dirt Bar that locks out the second floor for god knows why also gets a pinch of love with an open stare to an area that serves absolutely no damn purpose. But still not a good enough reason for CDPR to lock us out in the first place judging from how finished it looks. And many many more iconic locations for you to mark your territory. Keep in mind that this mod only opens up a specific area that could be unfinished with no collision ground, so if you don't want to be sent down straight to Earth's core, check out the description on the mod page first. Inside the Metro One of the big features that have been added in 2.0 or 2.1, I forgot, fuck it. However, there's a catch. While we got ourselves an immersive Night City Transit experience, your character also forgot how to walk. It's not like it's a big deal, it's not like I'm gonna be having my character doing a backflip or some crazy shit, but the fact that I can't even recreate a shot from the trailer kinda pissed me off. This mod allows you to do just that. You will now be able to use your character's two feet to move around the cart as your heart desires. What a surprise, never in my life have I thought that a human could walk on a train. All you need to do is wait for the car to stop, and once the pop-up appears, just press the indicated button, and your character's ass will be removed from the seat for you to roam around freely in a space that is smaller than a public restroom. Quick note, the mod is still in beta, so if your V starts having a stroke while standing, just bear with it. Walking on a train is not a simple task, alright? Does it sound easy to you? And another note, do not commit a shootout inside the metro or else God will send you to an infinite void instantly. Fanning the revolver Because of this mod, I just realized that reverse revolver could actually burst fire when you aim down the sight. After all these years, yes. However, this ain't feeling like no bursting to me. I could blow my nut faster than this. It's so ass. You know it, I know it. This isn't yeehaw enough. This mod allows you to burst your iron away like no one else in Night City, fanning out them leads like there's no tomorrow just to realize that it didn't hit shit because the recoil is batshit crazy. Comes with two versions, the classic aim down sight, or the hip fire version which sounds super cool. I went with the aim down sight though, not because I prefer it, it's because I couldn't get the hip fire version to work, so I just have to live with it. And this is the second weapon related mod I've ever installed. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my game. Fuck me, fuck my life. But at least you should get the idea of how the mod functions now. If you have the same problem, then welcome to the club. But if it works for you, congrats. I hope your game crash. Now, if your memory isn't as short as a goldfish, I did mention The Witcher 3 at the beginning of the video. That's why I'm gonna be taking a look at Siri which honestly has nothing to do with anything I said earlier. This mod gives you... Siri, obviously. For a parents menu mod user, 
but the real question is what can Siri really do? Well, uh, she can walk. She definitely has a nice smile. She attacks with this unique set of movements and she also protects. Da damn, girl, you, you good? What the? Oh, okay. You're good. And she kind of follows you around if you ask her nicely. Um, no, no, you cannot have sex with her. That's actually too bad. Damn. Next up is Las Vegas Sphere. Or should I say Night City Sphere? <laughs> yes, you know, it's in Night City instead of Las Vegas. Fuck it. This mod replaces a stupid orange flying fish with a cute eco-friendly emoji sphere, changing up the mood of the place where Rebecca was um last seen alive. Don't you worry, I got your back. She could survive. Maybe we'll see her in the next Cyberpunk anime. Surely. Other than that, there's not much else to say about this mod. If you're bored of how unfancy the city center looks, then I suggest you try this mod out. However, it is about damn time for a clothing mod. And it has to be an underrated one, which is actually tough to look for since more and more people have started to realize that Cyberpunk is in fact a dress up game. Which in return causes the community to be pumping out shit tons of clothing mods every week. But I feel like Cyber Flower Child Dress did get stuck under the radar with only 2000 downloads. Which might sound like a lot to some of you, but for this amazing looking dress that comes with 16,000 total, with dynamic body switching that includes EBBN and even the latest Angel body, it is extremely unfair considering the fact that this mod has been out for nearly two damn months. So, if you're looking for a cute dress that can make your heart race, this is the one. But with that said and done, this video ends here. Sorry that this video takes quite a bit to arrive. Although that bit means a whole damn month. I still appreciate you guys checking back on my content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also a big thank you to all of my patrons. Your support means a lot to me. I said that like twice in my previous videos already. But I couldn't think of anything else. Just thank you so much, okay? Now it's time for me to, well, shit, what else am I supposed to do if not taking more screenshots of my waifu, right? So uh, I'm going to do just that. Now get out of here.